Okay, last week, South Laurel Cardinal Jared Grubb took home the honors for our U Pike Top Play of the Week. There's a good chance you will want to vote another card number one this week. First nominee is a game winner. Crank it up, Director Greg. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the South Laurel Cardinals win on a Hail Mary at Leslie County. Adrian Fultz just bombs it up to Jared Lovins to take another look here. And there's no time left on the clock, and that's your game winner. Leslie County's undefeated record, no more. Tanner Hesterberg with nominee number two. Hey, Corbett's looking to throw it, and he puts a lot of air under this one. Got a man out there. It's caught. Takes a second for them to rule this a touchdown, but Belfry's Noah Corbett and Austin Woolen with the 53-yard hookup. Third contender, not central, Cameron Jones with a beaut of a pass to Tyler Kidd. 20-yard score, the Patriots win in blowout fashion over Betsy Lane. Fourth contender, Cameron Sizemore. Get off me, bruh. Boing. Right into the end zone. And the Red Hounds stay perfect. Hazard Prestonsburg for the next nominee, Bailey Blair. Rolls, bombs it deep, and Braxton Whitaker. Go get it. Jacked up after the play, by the way. Final contender, first drive for the Allen Central Rebels. Dylan Cottle to our main man, Dylan Brown. Or Jesse Brown. That's what I should say. What Brown? Can, what can Brown do for you? He could score touchdowns. That was a 45-yard touchdown, by the way. To vote on the U-Pike Top Play contenders, go to the sports page on WYMT.com and click the U-Pike Top 5 Plays tab on the left.